Scene 1. Eichmann at the Old Boulder train depot. Our play opens in Fair Boulder, Colorado, at the arrival ceremony for Adolf Eichmann, a slight, balding, elderly gentleman with thick glasses and an engaging smile and manner. The spokesman for the welcoming committee seems to be speaking. Ah, welcome to Boulder, Mr. Uh, Eichmann. I'm Geraldo Riviera. I'm an Italiano, Hispanico, Latino, Americano, Boulderado. We are uh, happy to welcome you to Boulder here at the uh, Farber Boulder Railroad Station. And now, relocated uh, just across from our own uh, Barnes and Noble bookstore soon to be expanded into a super Whole Foods. It's, uh, by the way, the home of the Boulder Chases. Thank you, Geraldo. 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 Eichmann here. Should uh, I call you Mr. Eichmann or Herr Eichmann or uh, Lieutenant Colonel or Herr Oberst Lieutenant Eichmann? I prefer General Eichmann. Please. Uh, very well, uh, General Eichmann. Not General. General. Okay, yeah, General. I mean, General. Are you Jewish? If you are Jewish, it's General to you. General like God. Not General like Chew. No. I'm an Italiano, Hispanico, Latino, Americano, Balderado. Would it be uh, easier if I called you Adolfa? Uh, not Adolf, please. Adolf. All right, then, Adolf. How do you like uh, Bodra Goneral? It's very nice. I like to be here. Much better than the ones, say. And more comfortable than Argentina. Don't cry for me, Argentina. It's cooler in Boulder. The mountains. The fresh hair. Very healthy. Also, it's rated as one of the very, very top retirement communities in America. At my age, that's something to think about. The other Adolf would love it. So many vegetarian restaurants, so many artists. I love the dairy center. But it's a bit banal, don't you think? No ghetto, a fake train station run by the junior chamber of commerce. No chews, no choo-choos, just carrot juice. And wine bars? Phony Gemütlichkeit, no authentic beer hall. Yuppie beer. There should be some respect for president. Auschwitz wasn't much to look at, but what do you expect in Poland? At least it had a real train station. Well, uh, Boulder is not a real city. A real city has a ghetto, like Genova. There is no ghetto in Boulder, only gelato. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. You are much better than Mussolini. In Boulder, you have really solved the Jewish problem. A number of people have come out uh, to meet you. Here is one. Uh, what is uh, your name, sir? Many men Shevitz. And uh, what do you do, sir? I'm many men Shevitz. I'm a born trader. You are a born trader? You are a little Eichmann? Are we related? You look Jewish. Do you want to buy some bronze? Do you want to buy some Rockies tickets? Tickets to get into Iraq? Are you Jewish? My father was Jewish. I think that doesn't count. I think it has to be your mother. I decide who is a Jew. 
I decide who is a little Eichmann. Scene 2. Ward Churchill at Chautauqua. Good morning, Kemo Sabe. Or is it Kemo Sabes? Would Kemo Sabes be many Kemo Sabes? Or would it be many Kemo Shabes? Just kidding. What is a Kemo Sabe? A Kemo Sabe is someone who hangs with guys who say, Hayo Silver! Hayo Silver? Yippee Kai Yai O Kai Yay? Would you like to be my faithful Indian companion? Can I plug my book? On the Justice of Roosting Chickens. It has the famous passage that got me fired from the University of Colorado. I quote here. Please note the footnote to myself. That the technocrats of empire working in the World Trade Center were the equivalent of little Eichmanns. Little Eichmanns? They wish. They should be so lucky. Many are called, but few are chosen. The bond traders came from a long history of American genocide. After the Spanish, but way before the Germans, pioneers of genocide. The American government took all the Native Americans that they hadn't already killed and put them on reservations and tried to exterminate them. It was a Native American Holocaust. That was nothing. A poor job. Early technology. The government never even used trains and the ovens. The government only used the ovens for making bread. They were like wood-fired pizza ovens. And they had no gas. Ovens without gas. And what about the oil? All that oil on the reservations? Too little gas. And too much oil. We never would have let the Indians keep the oil. Excuse me, Native Americans. What about the smallpox in the blankets? Lies, lies, lies. There was never any smallpox in the blankets. You couldn't even produce any footnotes, Professor Churchill, former Professor Churchill, about smallpox in the blankets. Of course, there were no written records. The victims were all dead. There you go again. You take no responsibility for what you say. It is always someone else's fault. If it's the smallpox in the blankets, if there are no records, no papers, how convenient. It was about the smallpox, not about the footnotes. You can never be too careful. You must have your papers in order. There were no footnotes because there were no written records. They called that fabrication. I left out some footnotes. They called that plagiarism. I put in footnotes. They called that miscitation, or was it miscitation? I'm trying to be careful to keep the gender citations correct. If you do not have your papers in order, former Professor Churchill, you will have to go back to the reservation, to the conserve, back to storage. I don't want to go back to the reservation. I couldn't go back to the reservation. Which reservation would I go to? I was never on a reservation. I've always been off the reservation. I don't even have a reservation at the Dandelion Gourmet Vegetarian Restaurant in Boulder. Reservations are nice places for tourists to visit, but I wouldn't want to live on one. I will decide which reservation. I published. Didn't I publish 
publish or perish, not publish and perish. I published, I perished. Doesn't the publishing count? You are perishable. What really counts is the blood test und the saliva test und the semen test und especially the urine test. Have you taken the urine test? Have you taken it recently? How recently? I don't see from your papers that either your blood or your saliva or your semen or your urine are in order. 